On day four of the Moody Manor murder trial, prosecutors played the 911 calls that were made just moments after one-year-old Keandra Hooks and her two-year-old sister Leandra were shot. Oh, no, it's only one baby that left and one baby that's in here. Do you know where they went in the car? Uh, they went to the house. Where did they go? Where did they go? Now listen, where is the baby that you're with right now? Right here, right here, standing right behind me. Tamitha Pride, the aunt of the girls, was in the living room with her mother and the babies. After relatives discovered Keandra's head wound, they got into a car and drove to the hospital. Tamitha then turned her attention to two-year-old Leandra. She was crying. She was sitting up crying. And I picked her up because um, she was crying. And I saw blood on her. So I thought that it was Keandra's blood. But when I picked her up, and my hands and stuff got bloody, and I knew that it wasn't her, so I lifted her shirt up, and there it was. Leandra had, in fact, been shot in the back. Paramedics arrived within four minutes of the first 911 call and took her to the hospital. She survived and was released after spending four days in the hospital. But the family says she suffers nightmares and is still asking for her baby sister. Key testimony was also given by Demetria Johnson. She lives across the street from the Moody Manor. Her 911 call was played in court. Did you see the person that was shooting? I did. What, was the black man shooting? There were two black men in their hoodies. Though Johnson did not identify defendants Keyshawn Jennings and Antoine Jones as those two boys, prosecutors are alleging that the defendants are indeed the two people she saw running from the Moody Manor just after the shooting.